The rains came, the streams rose, and the wind blew. But will our house fall down? Good morning, and welcome back to Cookies for Breakfast. That's Levi. And that's Nick. And today we're getting into the parable of the house built on the rock and the house built on the sand. Apparently those were the only two options back in the day. Jesus said, Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. A beachfront cabana sounds nice, but will it stand up to the elements? We intend to find out as we ask, Is this parable bearable or will it be terrible? Do we come inside and eat your sandwich? <laughs> Okay, so here's how this experiment is going to work. Our trusty interns have built this house out of tiny Danish building bricks. For the first round, we'll be placing it inside a tub on a foundation milled of sand. Ma milled of sand. Milled of sand. Made of We're made rocking of sand. it right now. Made of sand. Then we'll repeat the experiment, this time with the house sitting on a foundation of rocks. We'll then compare the times and see if the rocks, like the words of Jesus, truly are more stable. One fun twist today, there is no bucket of failure. I don't have to worry about it at all. Woo. Ha -ha. All right, let's get into this. All right, so here's the setup. We've got this bin. First round is for the rocks. We're gonna take this hose, put it over here. We're gonna start filling it up. We'll start the stopwatch as soon as the water turns on and see how long it takes for this house to be displaced. Who knows exactly what's gonna happen. You ready? I'm ready. All right, turn the water on in three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's a lot of water. Oh no, the boat is capsizing. I'm gonna save that. All right, all right, here all we right. go. The uh, crocodile's the cro out to sea. The shark is latched onto the boat. All right. Making its way up the so beach So far, now. so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're screaming now. Oh, Here's poor me, I see dog. <laughs> I'm more interested in the people in the house at this point. All right, you yeah, get, yeah, you yeah, get a little break good. there. That's good. That's good. Ooh, murky. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, it's it's almost up to the house now. The rocks are staying in place remarkably well. We're coming up on 58, 59. That's one minute. All right, here it goes. We're about to breach the opening. All right, water's officially in the house. Hold on, Chewbacca. Yeah, I don't think this is going anywhere. I don't anywhere. think this is going anywhere. Wowie, wowie. Well, well done production team for being a building a sturdy home. Let's get these people out of the boat. They want to go swimming with sharks. The dog says so no, we're about you. to fill to get over the lip of the tub, and if it does that, then I think we gotta call it, yeah? Yeah. All right, probably in three, two, one. Go ahead and shut the water off now. That was 145. 145. House built on the rocks? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. All right, let's reset, try this again. All right, it is time for round two with the sand. As you can see, we have this nice pile ready to go. Don't Here. worry, the people from the uh, original one who ended up face down in the water with the alligator and the, the shark, they survived and they really want to go back to the beach. So we'll see how this goes. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's turn the water on in Whoa, three. No, wait, not ready. Oh wait, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, stopwatch. My bad. All right, we're going to turn the water on in three, two, one. Okay. Already. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that is very fast. There we go, there we go, there All we go. All right, okay. it's working its way up the beach. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Much quicker Significant corrosion right out the gate. It's already reached yeah, up to the house. Yeah, it's not quite as high. You know the house is staying put though. The house is staying put. 
I mean, not ideal. You got a flood, but if you're on, you know, these guys up at the top, they're doing okay. I was not expecting this. Me neither. This is remarkable. Oh, they're they're face down in the water. <laughs> Nobody's having a good time no, on this. But day. the the house is staying put. It's it's starting to sink. One side of it's starting. All right, to you ready? Tip over. We're about to clear the top. Yeah, of we it. are over on that okay, corner. Okay, we're so. over on the corner. I'm gonna take this out of here. Turn the water off. But as you can see, like you got bubbles coming out this side of the house. So we're still hanging on. Once that neutralizes, you want to let it sit for a little bit longer and see yeah. what happens here. Yeah. Yeah, you can clearly see this end of the house is going down. Is it? Yeah. I think it's safe to say that if you build your house on the sand, you can get ready for some uh, foundation repairs at some point or another. Yeah, at some point. Although not as catastrophic as I would have guessed. All right, so, so far both houses have survived the flood, but now it's time to simulate the storm. We're gonna take this hose and we're gonna point it directly at the base. Right here. Right in there to see how long it can survive. You guys ready? We turn on the water in three, two, one, go. Dang, this is crazy. That is some tough stuff. Yeah. Wow. Took out the boat. I am very surprised. We're about to hit the lip again, and we have officially hit the lip. Go ahead and turn the water off. Wow. And the house is still standing. It is a little bit, a little bit slanted, but um, not much. Wow. That is a solid house. That's crazy. All right, so should we uh, try the sand? Let's get the sand back. Cool. All right, so we, like you, want to see something terrible happen to this house. You know, we spent all this time building it, and we haven't gotten exactly this, uh, this satisfying conclusion yet. So we're gonna turn the water back on and just aggressively spray the base of it until yeah. something cool happens. What would happen in a hurricane? Best as we can simulate. Yeah, what, what would happen in a hurricane? We're gonna try not to spray all of our wonderful camera equipment. In Turn the water on. Three, two, two, one. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, already. Oh, for a tornado. Oh, wow. Uh, that was fast. That was fast. Yep, we were pretty close. It didn't take a lot more to get us there. No. Poor Ewoks. Poor Ewoks. And Wookiees. Crocodile is upside down. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, Nick, we're back in the studio. What just happened? Uh, well, I was really hoping the house on the sand would collapse more catastrophically, but when we hit it with the storm, things definitely took a turn for the worse. Right, and the house on the rocks was way more stable, even when we threw everything we had at it. Yep. So, what do you think? Is this parable bearable, or is it... <laughs> terrible? Well, definitely bearable. <laughs> if you ever find yourself building a house in the path of a flood, definitely put it on rocks. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's the way the cookie crumbles. We'll see you next time.